The province of Oriental Mindero in the Philippines is a hidden gem waiting to be discovered by tourists. In the Mimaropa region, Oriental Mindoro boasts stunning natural attractions, cultural heritage sites, and vibrant festivals reflecting the province's rich history and diverse culture. If you've finally decided to visit the province, you need to know where to go. Don't worry, because I will recommend the top hidden paradise you want to visit in Oriental Mindoro. Five. Manihela Falls, located at Manihela Bansud, about 10 minutes of trekking is required to go to Manihala Falls. It has a captivating cascade of spring water through sedimentary rocks, forming a water pool at the bottom where you can go on a nature trip as you swim, fish or picnic. Four. Tamaral Falls is an oriental mindale must-visit site. It is a cascading waterfall that stands around 20 meters tall and is located in Barangay Villa Flor, near Puerto Gaidera. The falls got their name from the Tamaro, a rare and endangered buffalo native to Mindoro Island. Tamaro Falls is a perfect spot for nature lovers. Visitors can enjoy a refreshing swim in the calm, crystal clear waters of the falls, surrounded by lush greenery and beautiful scenery. 3. Tucaran Falls, nestled in the lush forests of Mindoro Island in the Philippines. Tucaran Falls is a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. This natural wonder is a true paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Tucaran Falls is a natural wonder and an important cultural site. The indigenous Menjin people consider the falls sacred and visitors are asked to respect the local customs and traditions. 2. Aslam Island One of the major destinations of any island hopping activity in Bulalaseo. The island's name is derived from the Cebuano word Aslam, meaning sour, because of the abundance of tamarind trees bearing the sour fruit. This private island has three white sand beaches with course to corally white sand and all interconnected through roads inland. It would probably take one, two hours to explore the island. The curving sandbar forms a small lagoon 2-3M from the shore with a sudden drop-off with very clear waters, clumps of big soft corals and schools of small fishes, making it an ideal area for snorkeling. Alibatan Island is also called Target Island, for it was once a target of the Japanese colonizers during World War. Located southeast of Bulalakeo and approximately 3 km northeast of Sitio Bakungan. From atop its limestone cliffs, you'd see panoramic views of the lake, the island itself and its beaches. The waters around the area abound with the different species of fish, corals and oysters. Exploring the island, you'd see bomb sites and jagged rocks broken into pieces. But the thing of the past has made it an island to visit as if there were survivors during that time. It would be this island as it survived non-stop bombings to become one of the peaceful beach islands in Bulalakaya. 